Hi, number 29 says graph the function f of x equals 2 to the x minus 7 on the set of axes below. Whenever you see a problem like this on the algebra regions, I want you to just thank your lucky stars because this is a super easy question. All you have to do is type this function into your calculator and reproduce the graph on the paper below. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 2 to the x minus 7 right here. We're going to go ahead and get some points so we can recreate it. Control T. And it looks like uh, when we start the graph on the, graph on the left, um, it looks like we are approaching a y value of negative 7, which makes perfectly se perfect sense actually because 2 to the x minus 7 is an exponential function. So, okay, we have a good idea of what the behavior of our graph is going to look like over there. But as far as points go, it looks like our first good point that we can really put on the graph is 0, negative 6. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So 0, negative 6 was the first nice point. We knew that there is an asymptote at y equals negative 7. So the graph's kind of approaching that value as it heads out in the negative direction. And then let's get some more points. Uh, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, negative 3. 3, 1, and 4, 9. Okay. Make sure your graph is a nice, smooth curve that is increasing exponentially. And we're going to go ahead and label it. Okay. Done. Check. Now it says if g of x equals 1.5x minus 3, determine if f of x is greater than g of x when x equals 4. Justify your answer. So first we need to determine if f of x is greater than g of x when x equals 4. Then we have to justify. Okay, so we have two jobs that we have to do. So first let's determine if f of x is greater than g of x when x equals 4. So let's find what f of Four is we're going to go up to the graph f of 4 was 9 and then now let's see what g of 4 is g of 4 we're going to have to plug it in because we didn't graph it uh, 1.5 times 4 is going to give me 6 minus 3 that's going to be 3 so f of 4 is 9 and g of 4 is 3. f of 4 is greater than g of 4, therefore it is true. f of x is greater than g of x when x equals 4. I have my statement. I have my justification. We're done.